the king of the seas and a killer of teens, this is something rad. Hey guys, welcome to Something Rad, where I talk about something cool that I've been watching or doing or reading. And this week, I'm super excited for Comic-Con. Why? Because the Aquaman trailer is coming out. Now, I know a lot of people are probably like, Aquaman, he's nobody's favorite superhero. False. And you know how I know that? Because I read Jeff John's run when it came out after the launch of the New 52. And in preparation for my upcoming Aquaman video, I've been doing my research. Gone back, I reread the first three trades, starting from when the Creatures from the Trench came out, all the way through the Throne of Atlantis. And I gotta tell you, they're awesome. They're self-aware, they're violent, Aquaman's never been more compelling as a character, he's never been shown to be more heroic, he's not overcompensating like he was in the 90s when he had the beard and the long hair and the hook for a hand and the shoulder thing. He's in the full green and orange, and that's awesome. Those are easily my favorite Aquaman stories, maybe even my favorite stuff from the New 52. It's like the Batman, Scott Snyder, Court of Owls stuff, and then boom, Jeff John's Aquaman. So before the movie comes out in December, maybe check that out. And stay tuned for my Aquaman video that'll come out next Thursday. I thought about rushing and getting it out today, but I really want to see the trailer first before I put out 10 things I want to see in the movie. The other thing I want to talk about is the Friday the 13th video game. Wait, hold on, maybe I should do this next part like this. Hey guys, you should really check out this. No, you know what, I changed my mind, I don't, I don't want to do that. I'm sure there's already dozens of videos on YouTube talking about the Friday the 13th game, but it's something that I just recently got into, and my short review for the game is I'm glad I got it as a free rental. Full disclosure, I'm not an online multiplayer person, I really just like the single player challenges, so take that with a grain of salt when I give you that review. But why do I want to talk about it? What's rad about this game I'm half-heartedly recommending? When I was a kid, there was a Friday the 13th game for the Nintendo, and it terrified me. We would walk around as a counselor going from cabin to cabin, and any one of them behind any door would be Jason. Look at this monster and all his 8-bit terror! And now there's something very cathartic as an adult who's no longer afraid of that 8-bit monster to playing as Jason going through and killing counselors. I would love to go back in time and tell my 5-year-old self that everything was going to be okay. But like I said, this is really better as a free rental. All the gory cutscenes and stuff are already on YouTube, so if that's why you're playing, you should probably just watch those. But here's the rad part. One of the skins of Jason is that blue and purple Purple nightmare that used to terrify me as a child. That is rad. But what's your something rad for the week? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like movies, TV shows, comic books, movies and TV shows based on comics, Star Wars, and sometimes professional wrestling, consider hitting that subscribe button and maybe that bell for notifications. I've been Bo with Bootleg Video. Insert catchphrase here.